One of the features of Remotely Possible is that it's a very configurable application. You can uh, change your button layout, change the icons for the buttons and so forth. Uh, when you do this, you can actually save those settings to uh, Remotely Possible Windows PC and then later you can bring the settings back into Remotely Possible on the iPhone. So for this demo, I'm going to show how we have Remotely Possible here running on a PC which already has some settings saved to it that were previously um, sent to it from, from an iPod or iPhone. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull those settings from this computer to Remotely Possible on the device. So we're going to go into Edit here on the main uh, screen once you've connected, connected to the computer. And at the bottom here there's a setting, there's an option for Get Settings. We're going to choose that and you'll see that uh, on the PC the settings are being transferred and on the device the device tells us that uh, the settings were successfully received from the PC. So we're going to click continue here and say done. And now if we go into our buttons you'll see we have a totally different button layout and uh, this is the type of thing that you can do to customize remotely possible. Now once you've gotten to this state if you've customized your buttons to a point where you want to uh, to save these settings back to a PC, you can go to edit again and this time choose send settings. We'll choose this and again the PC is telling us that it's receiving um, settings from a, from a device and the, and the device tells us that the settings were sent. So back over here now Remotely Possible has this set of settings and they can be exported to a folder so that uh, they could be saved off and, and given to someone else or backed up for your own purposes. So let's create a new folder here on the desktop for our settings and we'll just call it settings and we'll choose device and export device settings. We'll choose the folder we just created on the desktop called settings and say OK and tells us that they were successfully saved. So let's see what we got here in our settings folder. These plist files describe settings for um, for the application and button images shows the uh, various icons that go along with the, um, uh, the various buttons that were um, updated for these for this custom set of, of buttons. Now let's say that you didn't already have these settings and someone provided them to you or, or you backed them up and you want to restore them in the application again you can say device and now choose import device settings choose the folder and say OK and now the settings have been imported so that if you wanted to transfer them to a device you could do so